Today we're opening up classic Yu-Gi-Oh products. What's up guys, we're back with another video and today we have a bunch of different stuff. That's some old school, we have some Dark Crisis, we have some Rise of Destiny Special Edition, some Special Edition, that's a little weird. We have a Gladiator's Assault First Edition Blister and we have a GX Next Generation pack that we're gonna be opening up. And we also have a giveaway. I believe these were sent to me by Simply Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He sold me some stuff for the every pack. I think it was one pack. And then he sent me these, he said, go ahead and give these away. So we have a Barrel Dragon Lost Art and no OTS 18. We have a Grand Creators pack, Speed Duel Tournament pack two hilarious i had another pack that i like i could have opened this one if i really needed to and got another one for the giveaway remember i bought an entire box for this yeah it's hilarious i had actually two extra packs that i didn't know i had and then we have a movie pack and i think there might be like a portuguese pack in here a portuguese lob so really nice giveaway for you guys all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know your favorite classic pack that we opened today or one that you wish we had seen in this video let's start off with the dark crisis pack so out of here we are looking for skill drain rare we're looking for Sukiyomi Common. We're looking for any foils. So there's a lot of different things that we could want out of here in terms of rarity and then just a bunch of good, you know, different good stuff. Desperate Arch Fiend. Let's see if we can get uh, Battle Scarred. I would love to pull the Exoted Necros, as always. Arsenal Summoner, Frozen Soul. Acrobat Monkey, Vampire Lord would also be really nice. A different Dimension Gate. And a Judgment of Anubis. All right. I was like, I want the Vampire Lord. Uh, we'll give you the other Secret Rare. How about that, Ruxin? All right. I'll take it. Thank you uh, very much, Dark Crisis. The Judgment of Anubis very beautiful secret rare actually looks awesome this reprint secret rare looks pretty good solid start to the opening looking really nice let's go into another dark crisis let's see if we can pull something good because that is a great start to the opening when you pull a secret rare even if it's the one you're not necessarily looking for it's still a secret rare which is pretty amazing we have the mustering of the dark scorpions contract with exodia final attack orders little wind guard really eternal rest maju garzette aikido legendary flame lord and Shooting star bow seal. Okay, we have a seal bow. Okay, that was actually my... Okay, I know I'm bringing it up again. It's dual links. I get it. But this was my very first prismatic card in dual links. It was like one of the first couple sets. And it's where it like spins around. Yeah, I know. Virtual rarity. Who cares? But it was really cool. Okay, look. It looked nice. All right, that's just a memory I have. Okay, look. That was early of uh, early days of me getting into YouTube. Okay, actually, I actually think it was before that. <laughs> so it was very early. We have a staunch defender. Nice. Little wind guard. Morale boost. Incandescent Ordeal. Ojama Trio. Very nice Ojamas. We got the Checkmate. Really Eternal Rest. And Legendary Flame Lord. And Maju Garzette. I like that in this one, you can be excited about the rares and the foils because of Skill Drain, which is really cool. We're going to do one more of these and we're going to hop into Rise of Destiny. Open that special edition. See if we can get the Dark Magician Girl as our promo, which would be pretty nice. A little pack trick there. We have the Dark Scorpion Gorg the Strong. Deathstroke Archfiend. Battle Scarred. We've got the Vile Pawn Archfiend. Shooting Starbow Seal. There it is. The Prismatic. Really Eternal Rest. Guardian Chaist. All right. The Infernal Queen Archfiend. Not a skill drain. And Sakuretsu Armor. Another great common. It's not very valuable because it's had tons of reprints, especially in like starter decks and stuff. So pretty easy to get. Now let's go on to the Rise of Destiny. Dark Magician Girl is one of the four variant cards included limited edition. So let's see if we can get that. Let's open this thing up. Let's see. So the big one, honestly, like Rise of Destiny does have some good retail ulties like Machine Dupe though and stuff like that. So other good stuff we can get. But Dark Magician Girl is very, very nice. Let's see if we can pull it out of the special edition. Wow, the back of this card is pretty clean. Will it be DMG? Oh, Judgment of Anubis. Wow, this is like rubbing it in our face. That is hilarious. Judgment of Anubis. This is actually a really funny like combo of packs. I like to do Dark Crisis with Rise of Destiny because two of the four variant cards are the secret rares from Dark Crisis. You know, it's really awkward, but all right. So uh, we got Rise of Destiny. We did not get the DMG. That would have been sweet, but maybe next time we will get it. All right, Harpy Lady 2 there. Let's, I think you can do four. We have the Harpy Lady 3, Moki Moki King, Furikazan, Eagle Eye, Harpy Lady Dose, Creeping Doom Manta. This guy reminds me of Mantine from Pokemon. Black Square One. Back to Square One. Okay, Mirage Dragon. And. Oh, an ultimate rare Gaia Soul, the Combustible Collective. So an ultimate rare right off the bat out of this thing. That is amazing. Back scuffing really not too bad. There's some right there, but for Rise of Destiny, this is pretty good. And by the way, my thumb's a little messed up because I was uh, packing up bulk and it like destroyed my fingers. So yeah, it was it was not great. So there's an ultimate rare though. We will take that. That is a great pull. Let's go back to Dark Crisis, see what we can get. So far, we've got a secret rare and an ultimate rare. We are pulling a lot of rarities here, which is pretty nice. What will it be? Dark Scorpion Gorg 
the Strong, Incandescent Ordeal, Morale Boost, Despair from the Dark, Dark Scorpion Mane the Thorn, Agito, Shinado's Arc, Archfiend Soldier, cool card, and Archfiend's Oath. So we got the Soldier and the Oath. Okay, but not what we were like really looking for. <sighs> Eagle Eye, Furikazan, Moki Moki King, Harpy Lady, Trace, Harpy Girl. I think that one might have value because it has, you know, the uh, the spandex thing. It's a little different. Mine Hacks works. Harpy's Hunting Ground and Element Magician and a Piku Circle of Enchantment. Have you ever watched the Rise of Destiny opening that did not pull this card? Let me know, because I don't think it's possible. I think if you open Rise of Destiny, you will pull this super rare every single time. It actually looks really nice in this lighting right now, though. The lighting is on point right now. Next up, DCR Dark Crisis. Will the crisis be dark or will it be epic? Let's go, we're both. We have the Blindly Loyal Goblin. Sasuke Samurai Nimuro Dos. Falling Down. Dice Reroll. Dark Scorpion Check the Yellow. Archfiend's Oath. Dark Scorpion Mane the Thorn. Dark Bishop Archfiend. And non spell casting area. So if we only pull the secret rare out of here, I think it's only the secret. So maybe we're saving those for the end. We're going to pull the Necros or something at the end. What in the world? Hello? There we go. We got it. We finally got it. Will. Okay, we're two for two right now. Can we go three for three on foils? We have the Moki Moki King. I think we're three for three on him as well. And Furika's on. Same packs. Eagle Eye. Same exact packs. Malice's version. That's different. Here we do Manta. That's not different. I think this is the same pack. Mirage Dragon. And it might be the next one after this. Raging Flame Sprite. And necklace of command so we finally did not hit something but that's still cool the necklace of command will take it two for three on a special edition with an ulti that's amazing back to one more dcr then we're gonna go into gladiators assault can we pull a skill drain so far no skill drain or sukiyomi let's see if we can do it spell reproduction battle scar for the third time falling down guardian chaos ojama trio checkmate Sukiyomi, very nice. Why did I think this was a common? It's a rare. I don't know. And then uh, I was thinking of final countdown, I guess. Really eternal rest. All right. Not a bad pack because we got Sukiyomi, which is about four or five bucks. It is now time for Gladiators of Soul Glass, as it is known. This can have the, of course, the Chaos Neos Ghost Rare. It could be the Error Chaos Neos with its fusion version. That could be in here. There could also be Magic Formula, Necroface. I mean, there's a lot of cards that we could get. This was actually a gift from a viewer who uh, did a consigned box break. So hopefully... He sent us something amazing. I, I would be okay with that. Let's go. Let's see what we can get. Will it be something big? A ghost rare, we will lose it. One, two, or of course, magic formula. Let's just do three because I don't know what it's going to be on this one. We've got natural disaster. Beautiful. Super alloy beast wrapped in us for those Gemini cards. Lucky cloud. Fog control. Gambler of legend. Isn't this like a retrain or something of like an original? I think it is like gambler or something. Uh, light imprisoning mirror, I think is pretty good. Truck roid. All right. The roid of the truck. Nice. Oh, it is a super rare cloudy and sheep cloud. All right, it snuck up on us. So it was four from the back. Cloudy and sheep cloud. We were hitting a lot of foils in this opening, though. This is pretty nice. Very nice. Look how beautiful that is. I, there's something about the lighting today that is just killing it. I'm loving it. it. Looks really, really good. Okay, I think we got three DCRs and then we got the blister. So perfect. So we'll open up the blister after this pack, you know, go, you know, back and forth between these. Finish off the video. So far, some pretty good pulls. An ultimate rare, a secret rare. A lot of supers, you know, or a few supers. We got a Zolga. Battle Scarred. We're pulling that every time. Goblin of Greed. A deal with Dark Ruler. There he is, the Dark Ruler. Dark Scorpion Mane, the Thorn. The Keldo. Ojama Trio back at it again. We're getting the same comments. Guardian Trice and Checkmate. It feels like the last card is always a spell card for some reason. I don't know why. Now let's go into the Blister Pack. Gonna open this up real quick, get everything out. All right, we got our packs out and we have the Whitehorn Dragon, which appears to be slightly bent, but that's normal. Actually, not too bad for how bad I've seen them, but it is a little bit bent up. So we've got that. Then we've got Shadow of Infinity, Cybernetic Revolution, and Elemental Energy. Let's start off with the SOI pack. Can we finally pull a Sacred Beast? I don't care if it's Unlimited and Ultra. I still want to pull one. Still never pulled one. Let's see if we can do it. We have the Samsara, Chain Thrasher, Generation Shift. We got a Ruxin Special, Miracle Kids, Hero Kid. Trial of the Princesses, Ancient Gear Factory, Chainsaw Insect, no, not the Chainsaw Insect and Goki Pond. Where are those sacred beasts? That's going to be like the ultimate bane of our channel, besides, of course, the Shining Phoenix Enforcer and a bunch of other stuff, but that's part of it. All right, four packs to go in this opening. Will we get something good? Come on, one, two, three, four. I mean, we've already gotten some good stuff, but will we get something else good? Let's see. We've got the Blindly Loyal Goblin, the Gaga, Gigo, very nice, Ninkin, Dog with the Nintendogs. We got Ojama Green, 
Iron Blacksmith, Kotetsu, Kelbeck, Arsenal Summoner, Dark Scorpion combination, the wrong trap rare, and another spell card at the end that's not a foil. What is up with that? Okay, let's go Elemental Energy here. Shining Flare Wingman, ultra rare. We will take it. I am in. I am interested. Let's pull something big. One, two, three. I think it's four, but we're going to do three. Bonding H2O, Scar Scout of Dark World, Reborn Zombie, Gateway to Dark World, Branch, Nano Breaker. The League of Uniform Nomenclature. And a Brow Huntsman of Dark World. I think he actually probably went up because of the, you know, Dark World stuff, but just a regular old rare. I think the ulti of this is pretty valuable. Two packs to go. We have Dark Crisis, our final pack. So far, been okay Dark Crisis packs. We've only pulled one foil though. One, two, three, four. It was a secret rare. The rest been like, you know, rares and stuff. File upon Archfiend, Mustering of the Dark Scorpions, Ray of Hope, the Rod of the Mind's Eye. Pandemonium, Battle Footballer for football season. Dark Scorpion, Mene the Thorn. Infernal Queen Archfiend. Is that like the third time we've pulled this? And the final card of Dark Crisis today. A Keldo. All right. So those were actually pretty rough after that first pack. Like, really rough. We got a secret rare and then nothing. Not even a skill drain. So we're going to have to end it off with something big out of Cybernetic Revolution, like the Cyber in Dragon Ultra Rare. Or an Ultimate Rare. That would be pretty cool as well. We could get a Bubble Man. That would be nice. One, two, three. I think it is four. We're going to do four because that's what it's been. Actually, let's just do this to be safe. Switch those. That'll work. Death Frog. Spiritual Wind Dart Miyabi. Psychroid. Spiritual Wind Dart. Aoi, all right, the Aoi. The Soitsu, okay, he's got, uh, you know, nothing going on there. It's a little weird, okay. Conscription. The Jerry Beans Man has made into the video. Jerry, a bean soldier, believes he is the strongest warrior in the world, but his true abilities are still untested. Yes, indeed. All right, is it next? No, it's Gyroid. Is it next? Will it be an ulti? DD Travel. Okay, all right. That is not an ulti. I'm just saying. All right, that was a fun video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more old school content like this and you know other openings, etc. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, and then High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.